Good evening. I feel like it's been so long since I filmed a video. Obviously, it has been locked down. Like, there's not been much to video. But, oh my god, have I been bored. Like, in the first lockdown, my mental health did not deteriorate. But this lockdown did affect me. However, that's for a whole other video. We will get into that another time. There were a few Trisha Paytas crying on the kitchen floor moments. But to cope with that, I found some comfort in retail therapy. I would literally just sit all day every day just like going through different clothing websites like ordering things it's like it's just a bit of a serotonin boost isn't it like opening a package so i just thought if i'm gonna buy all this stuff let's let's make it an investment and do a video on it a quick warning that like i'd say 80 percent of the clothes here are gonna be brown i just like everyone suits brown i would never really have thought to wear brown clothes before but it consumes me now also lockdown ends tomorrow so you can use this like some inspiration for your post lockdown fit i'm getting my hair done tomorrow i've never been so excited for something in my life my hair is like half brown at this point and i do have about three extensions left nope <laughs> she tried she really thought she did something i'm so excited to show you these things basically i found all my inspiration from pinterest if you don't use pinterest you really should because like the outfits on there are spectacular i would say follow mine but like the only really thing on my pinterest board is like brown jeans and like a brown north face oh my god i really did try to get a north face but they're like 500 quid and i've already got a black north i spent 250 quid on a coat on my black one so i can't really justify spending 500 quid on a similarly colored one a similarly similarly colored one that's also second hand like I just I can't justify it like I will not be buying it however any sugar daddies out there like if you are thinking of buying me a present a brown north face will be suffice flossy Okay, let's start off with good old ASOS. Love me a bit of ASOS. Do you kind of struggle to find things on it because there's so much stuff on it? However, I found the tracksuit of dreams. So it's like a wee Nike beige sandy tracksuit. I think it's called the Nike swoosh sw uh, Mini swoosh potentially. Don't hold me to it. Just look up like a beige tracksuit. You know what? I'll just link it below. Let's just save ourselves a lot of trouble. I'll link it below. Something to bear in mind, they do not have drawstrings on the tracksuit, which is a bit unfortunate. And whenever I do walk, they do fall down a bit and my butt crack is visible. But the hoodie is to die for. I'm not gonna lie, there are like Ribena stains and shit on it because I've been wearing it for about the past week. But yeah, I am obsessed with this tracksuit. And then also from ASOS, I got these glasses. They're quite similar to my brown key ones, but they they don't have a rim. And I've been wanting glasses without a rim for a while because I think they're quite, quite like these. Shut up. Oh, this is my first time putting them on. You know what? Are they nice? I don't want to hear it because I think they're nice. I think they're quite cool. Oh, it makes the sky look so cool. Do you want to see? Look at that. Like they're like rose tinted. People who wear sunglasses in the winter with like a like a winter outfit and sunglasses. Ooh, you can see me. Like if I see someone walking down the street in winter with sunglasses on, I'm like big dick energy. Do you know what I mean? Okay, the next up from ASOS, we got this white t-shirt. I mean, it's really straightforward. It's just a plain white t-shirt with like a wee chicken on it. It kind of reminded me of the Los Pollos Hermanos ones from, was that was that a good accent? Los Pollos Hermanos? I did that in GCSE. That is Spanish, but the thought was there. Kind of reminded me of like a Breaking Bad t-shirt. I always wanted the Breaking Bad chicken t-shirt, but I never quite got around to it. So I bought this one from ASOS instead. You know, it's just a plain white t-shirt, but it's also kind of to go under things. I really like when you wear a jumper and you can see the wee white bit at the top. I like that. Oh my God, I needed to tell you something. Okay, so remember in my last video, I was talking about how I got that star projector. I discovered something absolutely fucking sensational. So what you do, when you're having a shower, you turn off all the lights and also the star projector doubles as a speaker. It's, oh, I'm such a big fan of it. Anyway, so you turn off all the lights, you put the star projector on, you put on Desperado by Rihanna, and it will be the best shower ever. You're like sitting there watching her like, Desperado. That's been the highlight of my days recently, is just doing that. So next up, I just got a wee brown jumper, just a wee brown sweatshirt, you know. Just me and brown, we hit it off. It does look a bit like a priest kind of vibe, doesn't it? Shut up. Right, that's all we got from ASOS. Now on to Subdued. So first of all from Subdued, I got these white like trousers, jeans kind of thing. They're more, they are a jean material, but they've got like that wee, they're, they're a bit different. I also got them in quite a big size. They sit like on my hips more, which I like. There's a bit on tan yesterday, can you tell? Do I look really tan? I used the um, Bondi Sands 1R Express. Game changer because I used to sleep with my tan and my sheets would be fucking disgusting the next day. But now I just stick it on, wait an hour, make some TikToks. I've made about six TikToks in that hour and then wash it off. And here we are, bronze goddess. I am making winter my bitch. Yeah, love these jeans. I think they could be really cool. We'll be wearing them a lot this winter. Subdued is like quite like Brownie Melville, but um, it actually has sizes. <laughs> See, this is the thing. I actually do really like basics from Brownie Melville, but I just kind of feel like shit being like, 
Here's the jumper I got from Randy Melville. You can only get it if you're my exact size. I don't fit in half the clothes from Randy Melville. Like I put on the sweats once and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. So Jude is literally across the road from Randy Melville as well. But it just, it's like kind of, it's the same vibe, but sizing. Also a bit more expensive. It is pretty expensive, so Jude. But I'm a huge fan, I love it. Next up we got this jumper. I am obsessed with this, oh my God. This is my first time trying it on. I will be wearing this probably every day until February. Oh, it's so cute. That's like a, that's a Christmas day jumper, isn't it? That's what I will be wearing on Christmas day. I have it in green actually as well. I bought it for that um, video I did where I bought Lewis and Flossie outfits, remember? But then I stole it off Flossie. Well, I bought it, so it like, technically it's fine. Anyway, unimportant. But I got it in quite oversized in the green. I don't know, I quite, well, I like having an option. This, this is also really nice. Yeah, nice and soft. Okay, bye. Okay, so the next up from subdued we have another brawling jumper i told you it's an obsession so this is like a zip up one i got it in a large i think lovely absolutely gorgeous it's just you just you can't go wrong with brown can you and it's like brown hair looks amazing with brown and so does blonde hair i, I any other color hair i'm sure it looks really good with brown as well i'm not discriminating brown just suits everyone that's all i got from subdued next up motel room puberty okay so next up we have these trousers from motel they've got like a cut out here and then you tie it at the back i think they are really cool they're quite flattering as well maybe i don't know you tell me I feel like a bit of a bad bitch in them because i feel a bit like maddie perez i absolutely fucking love maddie perez and then we've got a green cardigan you know me and cardigans can't get enough just think it's very wholesome and cute and it's green and you know how i feel about green okay right next up we have these brown jeans i have been waiting for these jeans to come in stock for so long they genuinely fit so nicely i am obsessed with these jeans i also did get a pair from collusion which are basically the exact same but a bit more flared i'm not going to try them on because i'm going to just sell them on depop because these are like my dream jeans keep it out for my depop and then i got this shirt which i thought was quite cool from motel maybe it would be cool with like a zip up jacket over the top as well oh <gasps> Guys, 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 I'm obsessed. I just love Braun, I can't get it off. Okay, so next up we have Zara. I just got this like white kind of long sleeve crop top, not much to say. It's nice and thick, nice. I don't know, I just didn't have any like long sleeve crop tops, so I thought I'd go for it. I think I just went for it because the model was really pretty. I often do that, like I just buy things because I think the model's pretty. Um, anyway, this, oh, oh, I saw this on Pinterest and I had to buy it immediately. <gasps> Isn't it the cutest jacket ever? Got big pockets. It's got a hood. I love it. Woo! Like this is this is for my like little winter walk to Starbucks to get a chai latte, maybe a turmeric latte. Who knows? It is the cutest, softest fleece in the world. Um, yeah, big fan of this. You can wear it buttoned up. Ah, I love it. Sorry. And then also while I was on Zara, I just thought I'd pick up a wee perfume oh my god it's delicious it's called the orchid one well i don't actually have any victoria's secret perfumes but flossie does and she said it smells like a victoria's, victoria's secret perfume mm. oh my god no get it get it you have to get an eye because it's really really delicious should we do urban outfitters next who wants to do urban outfitters next you okay fine okay guys don't mind me i'm just feeling myself in this top so this isn't urban outfitters it's like a wee like corset top but has a wee clasp at the back guys i really really like it oh my god maybe not with brown jeans maybe it would go better with white jeans in fact you know what i think this is perfect i think this is perfect i'm just like not very confident when it comes to like wee tops that like are quite low chested but for some reason i just i'm loving this like i actually don't even care that i have the chest of a 10 year old boy right now because i just think this looks fantastic oh my god i think i might have to go show flossy how nice is this top Oh, yeah. I'm obsessed. Especially with the brown. You like it with the brown? I really like it with the brown. And the blonde. And the gold. Well, you can borrow any time. Oh, thanks, love. Sorry, don't mind me. Just a confident girl coming through. Okay, well, I clearly can't get enough of these kind of tops. Because I did get another one. In more of like a, a pinky pearl kind of colour. Gorgeous! Absolutely gorgeous. I can't see my back profile. I'm not so confident about that. But anyway. Oh, guys, I love these wee tops. Urban Outfitters really did bits with this. Yeah, I just think they're really cute for a wee pair of jeans. Maybe with a, dare I say, brown zip up jumper. Cute, nice. So next up, I decided to get another brown thing. Okay, so this wee dress is from Urban Outfitters. I think the wee orange is really, really cute. Nice at the tan, just a wee mini dress. I thought with like a big oversized jacket like this one from Motel, it would be cute. Oh, guys, this has been a really successful haul. I'm such a big fan. Or you know what? It would go with the brown zip up hoodie as well because 
fucking everything goes to the bronze of my hoodie. And then the next thing I got from Urban Outfitters was just some like brown sweat shorts. Basically I wanted these for ages because I don't have any sweat shorts. I've only got my Gaelic shorts that I always wear. And I wanted to get them in summer but they were 30, 35 quid I think. And I couldn't justify spending 35 quid in a pair of sweat shorts. But they were on sale for I think 18 so I thought fuck it. So I got them. Really, really comfy, great for lounging around the house in. I did kind of want them in white. I had, I had my eye on the white ones for a while, but they were out of stock. So alas, I have to sell for the black. I'll survive. And then I saw this like deal for like three thongs for 12 quid, so got a few thongs. Thought that was a beautiful color. Also found this bralette. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this bralette. I love bralettes recently. I've just really been getting into them. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Next up, I got this jewelry stand. I think it is so cute. It's like sage green at the bottom. You can put some rings, some watches there, and then hang your necklaces. And then I got this rug. I'll insert a clip now when my room's actually tidy. Basically, I thought I needed a bit more green in my room, so I ordered some sage green fake linen sheets from Dunelm. Because I think real linen is really hard to wash or something. My mum told me that. So I got fake fake linen. And oh my god, it's so nice. And then I got this rug. I just think it really sets off the room. Just makes it a bit more homely. Do you know what I mean? Uh, not a huge rug person. But it was only 90 quid for a large, large rug. That's really, really nice. Which I thought was really good uh, value. Especially from Urban Outfitters. Like you would expect it to be fucking extortionate. But it was actually really good. So next up, I'm going to do more like thrifted stuff. And like things I got from like independent sellers. If you know what I mean. So this jumper is from I think, Kiwi Killer Fashion underscore on Instagram. Instagram and she sent me it. Thank you so much. I'm obsessed. I just think knitted jumpers are really in to be honest. I'm seeing a lot of them on TikTok. That's how I basically find out what's in is my TikTok free page. I also got some green Jordans. I thought they would go really well with like this outfit. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so next up I think this is like genuinely my favorite thing I got in the whole haul. So it's just a like green knitted vintage Ralph Lauren jumper. I think it's Ralph Lauren. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is. So we got it on this place called Cold Vintage, which is kind of like they do more like vintage designer stuff. It's a bit pricey, but like it's really, really cool stuff. They even sell old North Faces on there. I noticed I saw a brown North Face on there the other day and I was tempted to get it, but I just couldn't. Then I got this big racer jacket. So I've been wanting one of these for a while. I went on eBay and just looked up, I think, NASCAR racing jacket. And there are loads. You just kind of have to scroll and find. This one was only, I think, 35 quid. Like, it was not that expensive. So don't pay a ridiculous amount for it. I think this is really, really cool. Love it. And then I wanted a kind of a leathery jacket. I'm hardly going to, like, go and buy, like, a real leather jacket. It's a bit grim. So I went on eBay again and looked up vintage brown. Because I wanted a brown one. A vintage brown leather jacket. I think this one is Gap. Again, not very expensive, like 40 quid maybe, and I just think it's really, really nice. Cool. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to start on you there. But yeah, I would encourage you to thrift, because I have actually been having a lot of fun thrifting recently. Because like, you can thrift online, obviously it's a bit harder, but um, yeah, cold vintage on eBay, really, really good places. Also, I know I don't shut up about my North Face, but I get so many questions all the time about what style it is. And I'm, right, it's a men's large, and I think it's a noob, noobster. Noobster, it says 700 on the sleeve, if that's gonna help you in any way. I'm really, really happy with everything I got, to be honest. Just love it when a plan comes together. Do you know what I mean? I will leave all the links below for everything. It will, if it's all still in stock, like I will try my hardest here. I'm, I'm just a little girl, give me a break. Hope you enjoyed. Hope everyone's really excited to get out of lockdown. Well, England, because I know actually my hometown's just gone into another two weeks of lockdown. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers. Hope you find some inspiration. I'm sweating profusely.